Hey guys, Tony here from Tony Tech Bytes, and this is the Noctua NF-A12 by 25 fan that they recently sent out to me for review. So if you've seen my previous videos on my Loki Ghost S1 small form factor system, you've probably heard the noise tests and found that it's really loud. So with the NTXC fans that come with the Kraken X53, they do perform pretty well, but they do get extremely loud. And I was looking at quieter options for small form factor systems, and I stumbled upon Optimum Tech's videos on the Noctua NF-A12 by 25 fans. Oh yeah, just built this brand new PC. Time to turn it on. What the hell is this? Activate Windows? Alright, just got this code in the email. Time to activate it. Click Next. If you ever need a Windows 10 Pro OEM key for a cheaper price than what Microsoft sells it for, go on MMORC and make sure to use code TON35 for 35% off. Also make sure to extract the key from your email. Thanks to MMORC for sponsoring a small YouTube channel. So the best part about these fans is the performance. So these fans are engineered for static pressure as well as airflow, so you can use them as case fans to bring in cool air or to exhaust hot air, or you can put them on heat sinks or radiators to move air through the heat sinks or radiators. So looking at this chart of the fan, you can see that it is really optimized for every situation that you can think of. And I think the only caveat with this fan is the color because not everyone really likes the brown Noctua colors. However, I have a closed off case so it really doesn't bother me and I think it does give that unique look and also looks kind of premium as well because everyone knows you have Noctua fans and a lot of people know Noctua fans are premium. Included in the box are also a lot of accessories besides the fan. You also get a 30cm extension cable, a 4-pin splitter cable, a low noise adapter, anti-vibration mounts, fan screws, and an anti-vibration gasket. So you can install the fan with a tighter fit on radiators so that fan doesn't just leak out through the underside of the fans. Noctua also uses their Sterox material on these fans and the tip clearance is really tight so the fan blades nearly touch the frame of the fan. And this is really good because the fans are obviously gonna perform a lot better and they're a lot quieter than traditional fans. So in this video, I'm gonna talk more about performance as well as the noise tests that I tested out. Keep in mind that I do not have a very reliable uh, way to measure sound because I don't have a sound meter. So installing this into my case was very straightforward. It was pretty much the same as installing regular fans, except I had to take out the anti-vibration mount and add the vibration gasket so that it would have a tighter fit on my radiator. So I installed the fans on with screws and that was a really simple process. And here are some of the results. So the ambient room temperature was about 20.2 degrees Celsius or 68.9 degrees Fahrenheit. I made sure to monitor that because there is a clock with a thermometer right above my PC. So it's really in really close proximity. For the NZXT fans, I was getting about 88 degrees Celsius with a fan speed of 2100 RPM and a clock speed of 3867 megahertz. And also for the liquid temperature in both tests, I made sure to record temperatures at a liquid temperature of 36 degrees Celsius. So for the Noctua fans, I was getting 87 degrees Celsius with a clock speed of 3893 megahertz and a fan RPM of 2057 RPM. So I did set both of the fans to 100% RPM in the BIOS and I made sure that they're running at full speed, which isn't the most ideal situation that most people set their fans as. I wanted to test the full potential of these fans so you can see from these tests that the Noctua fans perform nearly identically as the NZXT ones, as well as drop the temperatures down 1 degree Celsius. So that could be within the margin of error. However, I did notice that the Noctua fans did sound a little bit quieter than the NZXT ones, and they did sound a little bit less high-pitched or whiny than the NZXT fans. And while my system is idling, I do notice that these Noctua fans sound a little bit quieter than the NZXT ones. They do have a more pleasant sound rather than a high-pitched sound that most fans make.
So would I recommend these Noctua fans to regular people? Well, if you are fine with the color scheme, I think these fans are awesome because they include a ton of accessories in the box and the performance is amazing. And if you care about acoustics, then these fans definitely excel in that area. However, if you do not like the color scheme, then I guess you're better off sticking with RGB options. However, I think having really good airflow and performance in your build is more important than having aesthetics in some cases. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to check out the Noctua NFA12 fans, I'll link them in the description down below for your convenience. They are affiliate links, so I do earn a tiny bit of commission from them. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to support my channel.